In this video, we'll get started with logistic regression. In fact, uh, uh, we will start by seeing the difference between linear regression and then move over to other concepts in logistic regression. Okay. Logistic regression is also called as logit regression or logit model. Okay. It is a regression model where the dependent variable is categorical in nature. Okay. So in general, you would think, oh, how confusing. So a typical regression model, of course, has a numeric variable to be predicted. So, um, you know, although this is called as a logistic regression model, actually it's a classifier. Okay. Because actually the dependent variable is categorical in nature. So somebody asks you, hey, logistic regression is a regression model or a classifier? You know, it's a classifier. Okay. So the binary logistic model is the one which is more popular. And uh, it is used to estimate the probability of a binary response based on one or more predictor variables. Okay. Now it's called a logistic regression because, hey, in fact, it actually tries to predict a number, but the number is between 0 and 1. And the number is interpreted as a probability of this particular thing being of you know yes class or no class. So in a binary logistic model, okay. So therefore, you know, hopefully that is uh, hopefully it's clear why it's called a regression model. Well, it's a logistic regression model because it predicts probability, but overall it's a classifier because the overall goal is still to be able to predict whether an email is spam or not or or any of those binary classification problems, okay. So the difference between a linear and logistic regression is that the conditional distribution probability of y given x is a Bernoulli in the case of, of, uh, of a logistic regression, while in the case of a linear regression model, it's a Gaussian distribution, as we basically discussed in the linear regression videos. Okay. So, uh, and, and this is because the dependent variable is not numeric, it's binary. Okay. So that is why the conditional distribution is binomial in nature. Okay. The predicted values are probabilities and therefore restricted to 0 and 1, while the predicted values in linear regression can be in any range. Okay. So for logistic distribution, the predicted values have to be between 0 and 1. Okay. So that's, that's the differences. Okay. Here is an example of logistic regression. So probability of passing an exam versus hours of study. So you know this is a data set uh, where uh, uh, 20 students were basically asked how much did they sleep. Okay, so uh, before the exam, and uh, uh, essentially, you know, uh, then it was also recorded whether they passed the exam or not. Okay, so you know, you see some of those students basically sleeping just for half an hour. That's just too bad, right? So uh, you know, or quarter an hour, uh, three quarters, one hour, one 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 hour, one one point five hours, and so on. Okay, so so a group of twenty students spend between zero to six hours studying for an exam. How does the number of hours spent studying affect the probability uh, that the student will pass the exam? Okay, so so essentially, uh, you know, what is the probability that this guy will pass the exam uh, given the hours of study? Oh, so um, this is not really hours of sleeping, but more like hours of study. Okay, so essentially, uh, if the student studies more, you would assume that they can pass the exam with a higher probability. Okay, and in fact, this kind of thing is seen in the data as well. So if you see from uh, this particular um, graph, you know, people who study less essentially uh, failed and people who studied more essentially passed. But there is a small difference or a small important thing to, uh, small thing to notice that uh, there are some guys in between here, uh, you know, which are overlapping in the two cases for the two classes, right? So the table shows the number of hours each student uh, uh, spent studying and whether they passed or not, okay? Uh, now, um, in general, if I was to try and fit a line to it, a linear regression. So this is basically, you know, a plot where you have hours studying here and the probability of passing here. Okay. Now, in general, I, if I were to draw a linear regression uh, in this case, the linear regression line would probably fit, uh, you know, in in some senses, something of this kind. You know, this is how the linear regression line would fit. Okay. And in some senses, I would be able to say whether it basically belongs to the zero class or one class. But the way a logistic regression works is that it tries to sort of fit a curve of this kind. So essentially, you know, uh, or something of that sort. So logistic regression analysis gives this following output. So this particular curve is actually called as a logit curve. Okay. And what it tries to do is to basically figure out, uh, you know, coefficients just like even linear regression would figure out. 
So, like for example, in this particular case, the coefficient for this logistic regression are uh, the y-intercept being minus 4.07 and uh, the, the, the coefficient for the hours attribute being 1.5, okay? However, unlike linear regression, the formula is not going to be, uh, you know, so in linear regression, the formula would have been y equal to 1.046 into number of hours, you know, into number of hours plus uh, minus 4.0777. Okay, that would have been the equation for a linear regression. But that's not the case for logistic regression. For logistic regression, the way it works is that probability of passing the exam is 1 over 1 plus e raised to this entire thing. Okay? So if you notice, it is 1 over 1 plus e raised to you know, this entire thing. Okay? So that's how the logistic regression uh, thing works. Okay? And then once you have this thing, this is basically the probability of passing an exam. So the probability of passing, so, so now you can take a new student. So maybe he studied like 10 hours, okay? So therefore, in this particular equation, uh, substitute hours equal to 10 and then get the probability. If the probability is greater than 0.5, you predict that this guy will pass the exam. If the probability is less than 0.5, you predict the guy will not pass the exam, okay? So, so that's, the, that's a very simple example to understand how logistic regression works. Uh, in the next video, I'll talk about, uh, uh, you know, uh, the simple thing. Can we really use regression mechanism for classification the way we did? Why did we really require that sigmoid curve? Why can't linear regression just work here? After all, we are just trying to predict a number between 0 and 1. Linear regression should also have been able to do the same job. Then why require logistic regression? We'll talk about that in the next video.